afternoon everybody as i promised earlier uh, today i am going to present my first class in this semester for the students of third year sorry the, for the students of third semester second year of maharaja nandakumar mahavidyalaya english honors now as it is decided uh, ulysses it has been assigned on me so today we are going to deal with that now as per the practice first we will try to understand the poet himself the life of the poem poet the system of the society didan society contemporary society and the other factors which we should know while reading the text ulysses so before we actually read the text let's uh, have a look at the poet's life now the full name is as you can see on the screen alfred lord tennyson he was born on august 6 1809 and died 6th october 1892 now he was the poet laureate during much of queen victoria's reign so he is a very prominent poet so we will have some sort of basic info about it so that we can you know remember him in a proper way so he is a basically a basically a victorian era british poet writer and novelist and he was the poet laureate during queen victoria's reign and the exact date when he was appointed as the poet laureate was 19th november 1850 and he remained in that position still 6th october 1892 he is considered to be the one of the most popular poets of english language well there are many important works rather famous works of tennyson i need to keep this thing within a very limited time frame so i am mentioning here only three works crossing the bar which was actually written in 1889 ulysses in 1833 and in memoriam a h h the full name of a h a h h is arthur henry hallam he was actually a friend of tennyson and in memoriam is an elegy uh in that elegy he was actually lamenting he was um very at that time he was very unhappy because his friend passed away it was written in 1849 and many more there are many other also but i didn't mention that due to the shortage of the place uh, the shortage of the time now we can do one thing here you can visit the wikipedia page of alfred lord tennyson you can consult your book also any book related to history of english literature you may find um, you can go through that also you will find a lot of works which were actually entitled under his name and he is very famous for that so in the next slide we will be dealing with the early life of tennyson he was born in somersby lincolnshire England on fifth of August, as mentioned earlier slide also eighteen hundred nine. His parents were Reverend George Clayton Tennyson and Elizabeth Fyshe Tennyson. Had four sisters and seven brothers. He derived from middle class line of Tennysons with noble and royal ancestry, which means actually he belongs to the noble family, or he belongs to the royal ancestry. But due to the uh, economic crisis or due to the Uh, condition of the family they were actually middle class at that time so it is a very brief idea which speaks about this is a very brief slide actually which speaks about uh, the life of tennyson himself now let's go back to the background of family father was very educated but very poor yep that's a dilemma i guess uh he was a clergyman 
yeah, related to the church. Clergyman is a post actually official is related to church. And the history of mental illness can be seen throughout the family. So actually it, it was they were um, they had a problem with epilepsy. Most of the family members they were affected uh, due to this illness. So this is a very short background of his family. Um, so what he has done. So I named this slide as Life in Full. And uh, the success of his poems in 1842 made Tennyson a very popular sorry uh, there's been a mistake uh, please read as read this thing as poet I will correct it while I share this PPT to your whatsapp group um, it has been <laughs> written as pot slight typographical uh, error please excuse me for that and in 1845 he received a civil list a pension of 2200 pound a year 200 pound uh, that day it was a big amount which uh, helped relieve his financial difficulties obviously if you get any government fund to live with and then um, things will be pretty much easy for you so he got that and the success of the princess and in memoriam and uh, his appointment in 1840 1850 as poet laureate finally established him as the most popular poet of the victorian era yep Finally, he was appointed as the Poet Laureate in the court of Queen Victoria. Um, so he was the official poet of the Queen's court. And obviously he enjoyed many perks and privileges which actually helped him out of the financial difficulties which he had earlier. Now let's move to the era of Queen Victoria. Why? why it is important because he was appointed as the poet laureate in queen victoria's court so let us understand the era of queen victoria which is actually named after the queen victoria which starts from 1837 it is continued till in 1901 you can see the picture of queen victoria on the right hand side of this light and uh, I forget to include the Victoria Memorial Hall which is actually located in our very Kolkata which is actually named after her uh, she reigned uh, she ascended the throne on 20th June 1837 which marked the beginning of Queen uh, of beginning of Victorian era and it lasted till her death 22 January 1901. Her coronation was on 28th June 1838 and predecessors were William the four successors was Edward seven and he was the she, sorry she was the Empress of India on 1st May 1876 till 22 January 92 1901. So this is the a brief you know time frame of Queen Victoria let's move to the next part of Queen Victoria's era which uh, can be helpful for us Queen Victoria reigned from June 1837 until her death on the 22 2nd of January 1901 it, it is mentioned her reign is considered as a period of prosperity for British people obviously there are rulers a ruler which ruled for a so long time obviously brings uh, political stability and social stability you know political stability and social stability they are connected to the, with each other you cannot gain uh, social stability well when the country is going through a political turmoil you cannot gain social st you cannot uh, gain uh, social stability also um, that means you need both of these things social stability and political stability is necessary for uh, for a prosperous society any of them mm. if any of them is disturbed the stability will be lost the same thing happens here but in this case in a in a, in a good way that means uh, due to the political um, stability uh, automatically the social stability comes people uh, enjoyed or rather 
British people flourish at that time. UK gained from the overseas British Empire and from industrial improvement at home. Now this is something from the British perspective we can say they gained so many things and uh, they developed their society they, which were actually fruitful for the British Empire but remember one thing they were actually exploiting other countries which was actually under the British Empire even us. See um, someone's gain, someone's pain, someone's gain. Now same thing here, also, here also. UK gained a lot from the British Empire, overseas British Empire, from industrial improvement at home. Yes, that at that time there was industrial revolution also. All over the England there were several industries which uh, played a very important role for the development of Britain or for the British Empire. But let me remind you, uh, it also it is not good for us, for the colonies which they were ruling. We were actually exploited by the British Empire at that time. Now, <coughs> Victorian age, what is, uh, what is so important about Victorian age? Let us discover it. It is a diverse and complex time period and it was the precursors of the modern era yep you can say after the industrial uh, revolution a lot of things changed uh, the social structure uh, completely changed previously england was um, dependent on agriculture now they move on to the industrial phase and the impact of this phase can be seen worldwide trade and commerce suddenly boomed and a uh, lot of people they changed their profession who, people who used to spend uh, their time on their land or on agriculture now they were actually uh, working uh, inside a plant inside a factory uh, staying in a ghetto uh, in a city people started moving towards the city so if one wants to understand the society culture sciences and ideas of the modern world it is imperative to study the Victorian era because it is the time when all the things started during this period many artistic styles literary schools as well as social political and religious movement flourished i told you earlier that it is obvious that uh, the political stability will obviously bring social stability also and in the in that part um, in this way there are several other things which will uh, get this opportunity to rethink or reconsider or um, create new things because there is stability everywhere now it was a time of prosperity, broad imperial expansion and great political reform. Yes, obviously some great political reforms happened there. I will come to that also in my next presentation. It was also a time which today we associate with prudishness and repression. Yep. See, every every age has two two sides, you know. One of the side maybe it's, it looks very prominent but on the other side there are some darker aspect also. So two things I should say prudishness and repression it is also associated with this age it was an extraordinary complex age sometimes it is it has been called a second english renaissance so that will be all today and uh, i hope uh, you will understand the age properly and uh, i hope this presentation will help you to get a little bit of information about um, uh, Lord Tennyson, um, I I am thankful for the uh, for for some site from where I have taken these references such as Wikipedia, uh, such as SlideShare. I used um, I have seen some slides and I have uh, used the information from Wikipedia. You can also look for it. I uh, this presentation is not completed yet. That's why uh, the name of those um, sites it's not is not mentioned here it will be mentioned at the end of the slide when i complete this so that will be all uh, uh, it will be uploaded in a moment i hope uh, very quickly so thank you bye